Today we are going to react to Carvos. He is trying the Mr. Beast burger for the first time. He's going to give us our rev his review of it and see how delicious and tasty it is or how disgusting and despicable it is. So let's go ahead and uh, watch this video and uh, yeah, burger. go ahead. I tried for myself what formerly was Mr. Beast Burger. However, I assume the quality is going to be exactly the same in my area because this has been here for years. We do have a scale to rate this on. My last review was Prime. So now for the finale of this episode, I'm going to try it. And quite frankly, after all the reviews I've heard, I'm fucking terrified. <laughs> I don't blame him because I was actually terrified when I saw the reviews as well. There's some really bad reviews about Mr. Beast Burger uh, from like patties not being cooked, the beef looking disgusting like it's some like intestines or something like spewing out of a burger. Uh, it looked like there was like barely any vegetables. And if there was vegetables, there was upcharging you a fortune. I said, this is ridiculous. You're trying to eat a somewhat balanced, healthy-ish kind of meal, fast food burger, and you can't even do that. Not to mention the premium price you'll pay. It's just crazy, people. So it just arrived, the Beast Burger. And already, interestingly, it still has the Beast, Mr. Beast packaging, the Mr. Beast. Look at that. They still have the Mr. Beast packaging, even though it's like Beast Burger instead of Mr. Beast Burger now because of the lawsuit. Beast logo, everything. Not excited for this. So if you're going to sue someone for a lot of money, hundreds of millions of dollars, you might want to change all the packaging first so you're not associated with that person anymore <laughs> just saying people okay but oh they're freezing they're absolutely fucking freezing um let's just start with the burger let's so already they're cold okay let's just get this out freezing i just got this literally just got this that's the burger there it's absolutely that burger looks absolutely disgusting look it's all ripped apart like it's some like tentacles squid spewing out of the bun. That is gross. It's not even a round shape anymore. Like it's just, ugh, I would not eat that. Ice cold. Um, wish me luck. Uh, can we go back and just do a quick zoom on that? Look at that. That looks absolutely disgusting. Like what the hell is that? Um. <laughs> Wish me luck. Oh, he's a braver man than I am. He's a braver man than I am. Oh, the sauce is a bit too much. It's soggy. The Look at it, though. The bun is just absolutely flaccid. Cold. Uh, the bun, yeah. Cole's grilled cheese. Here we go. Cole's grilled cheese. How can you F that up? What the fuck is that? So they say it's an inv- <laughs> it's, it's a burger bun turned upside down. Inverted bun on cheese. Mate, it's literally a slice of cheese <laughs> and the burger bun from the burger turned upside down. I mean, it was like five quid, so. That is actually shit. Like, no lie. The burger, like, <laughs> like, vibe. Like, it's cold. It's a shitty burger. But that is fucking vile. Oh, my God. That's terrible. What do you expect for five quid, my man? Oh, the aftertaste is actually fuck. I haven't got a drink. <laughs> oh, it's like a fucking... I'll drink for you. Hold on. Oh, just this is making me sick just watching him try this nasty, ghastly beast burger. Dogs are. Last but not least, the chicken burger. This looks like the best thing we've had. The chicken is nasty as it is, but it's probably not as bad as the freaking beef looks or the the ch cow's cheese. The chicken looks all right. It's not great looking, is it? The quality of this. I'm actually like genuinely nervous about this. I should probably cut it open the chicken before I bite. I'm He's probably gonna get like salmonella or some crazy disease out of this. I'm gonna look at the chicken when I bite it. All right, salut. By far the best thing. Oh, finally. I we've had today. The okay. chicken is actually cooked. I'm actually gonna have another bite of that. No way. I actually like that. That's actually good. Oh, well, yeah, because you ate eaten shit before. No wonder that's going to taste all right. Like, if that was warm, I'd really like it. I'm surprised how much I enjoy that. This was not it. Like, this burger, just no. 
Like, <laughs> the beef is a shit. Yeah, I agree. The sauce, the cheese, and that... I agree. It's just spewing out like some nasty mess. Fucking grilled cheese I've just put in there can burn in hell. I wouldn't even <laughs> let ants fucking feast on that in the back garden. That's how <laughs> shit it is. You can surprise me, chicken burger. Grilled cheese sandwich. I would literally give that shit out of 10. A zero. I'd give it minus <laughs> if my scale did that, but I'm not fucking around like that. It's a zero. The grilled cheese, absolute dog. Sorry, Carl, but your grilled cheese got a fat zero there. He doesn't like it at all. The burger. I think the burger should get zero as well. Or minus zero. Cold. The beef wasn't great. Like, no beef, basically, really. It's so thin. Didn't taste good. The sauce was shit. Three out of ten. No, that's generous. I'll give it zero. The only saving grace here of Beast Burgers, the chicken burger, I would give that like a solid seven. Maybe a six and a half, but a seven. You know where he fucked up? He didn't get the impossible burger from Mr. Beast or from Beast Burger. Not like amazing. Now, that one's made of plants. You cannot fuck that up. It's already doesn't really need to be cooked that much. But good. I think actually how shit the other items were made me enjoy this just a bit more. Exactly, that was my point. Because of the other items. I think I can consider myself one of the lucky ones here that the chicken... Now where is the fries? I want to him to try the fries. Didn't poison me. You know, overall, what I, what would I give Mr. Beast Burger on my sellouts tier list? It'd be one off a sellout. I think the whole story behind Beast Burger, the naivety, the lack of quality... Can't be... It's gotta be... It's got to be worse than Prime. The drama now behind the scenes being sued. I think Mr. Beast Burger, clearly Mr. Beast thinks so too, was an absolute fail. Like the video right now if you've been... Okay, so give it a four. Does that mean it's four as in good or is that four as in bad? I think number one is like the best, yeah? So I think that he... Is that the best meaning good as the best or is that bad as a... I don't know how he's rating his scale, but... I, I hope that is number four is the worst because that is terrible. Absolutely terrible. And I must admit, people, I have tried Mr. Beast Burger myself when I went to uh, Illinois, Chicago, up north from me. And I actually had the uh, Chanda Burger, impossible version of it, though. I had fries and I had a drink. And it was actually pretty good. Mine came out all right. But that's because I had a plant burger. So I think if you go to Mr. Beast Burger or the Beast Burger and you eat the plant version of the meat, it actually tastes all right and it's cooked. Like, it's because it doesn't take much, yeah? It takes, like, half the time to cook in a possible patty than it does a meat patty. Because meat's got all the fats and it's got all the other stuff you got to cook out of it and all the nasty stuff. It takes way longer, yeah? And also the fries, if they're cooked right, they were actually all right. They got a little bit of seasoning on there, some seasoned fries. So it all depends where you buy it from. But I would strongly suggest if you do go to Mr. Beast Burger, someone's got a gun to your head, that you would select an impossible version of Chandler, Chris, uh, Carl or, or Jimmy himself, Mr. Beast. Alright, people. I'll see you guys in the next video. I was just reacting to Carvos. I thought I'd see what he thought about the food. Uh, obviously, he thinks the majority of it is dog shit. And I agree with him uh, in terms of the conventional menu. Uh, but if you try the impossible versions, so far, in my experience, they've been pretty decent. Uh, because it's very hard to fuck up. So I'll see you guys in the next video. If you're new, subscribe. Smash the like. And we'll see you in the next one. See ya.